In the last video, we saw that scientists invented a special unit to measure the tiny masses of atoms, the Unified Atomic Mass Unit, shortened to U, based on the lightest kind of atom, hydrogen, having a mass of 1 U. This made all the other atomic masses bigger than 1. This video shows how, after the U was invented, they got rid of it. First up, notice that hydrogen is number 1 in line, so its atomic number is 1. And we've seen that its atomic mass is made equal to 1. So they're the same. No other element has its atomic number equal to its atomic mass. Hydrogen is special. And because a hydrogen atom's mass is made equal to 1U, the other atomic masses tell us how many times heavier they are compared to it. For example, a helium atom is 4U, so it must be four times heavier than a hydrogen atom. And even if we weighed a helium atom in kilograms or pounds, it would still be four times heavier. So writing the number of times heavier doesn't need a unit at all. This is cool. Written without the unit U, the atomic mass is called the relative atomic mass. The relative atomic mass is the number of times an atom's mass is compared to, or relative to, a hydrogen atom's mass. And that's what's shown in the squares of your periodic table. Annoyingly, relative atomic mass is also called atomic weight, even though it's not a weight at all. And we took a whole video to explain the difference. Atomic weight is a misnomer. That means its name is inaccurate. Let's put the units U back in. So we're now showing the atom's actual masses again. This means we have to drop the word relative, because relative atomic masses don't have units. From a mathematical point of view, if we want to find out how many times heavier a helium atom's mass is compared to a hydrogen atom's mass, then we should divide the helium mass by the hydrogen mass. This gives us the answer we expect, four times. This is the ratio of the helium mass to the hydrogen mass. You can do this with any comparison of amounts. If you have $100 and Jack has $20, how many times richer are you? Divide 100 by 20. Five times. In the case of helium, it's simpler because the number we're dividing by, hydrogen's mass, is 1. This means that the answer is the same as the numerator. 4u divided by 1u is 4. Notice how the unit u is on both the numerator and the denominator, so it cancels out, leaving us no unit at all. Although the masses have a unit, the ratio of the masses doesn't. This ratio is helium's relative atomic mass. The U's are dropped now because all the numbers are ratios without units.
a sciencey way of describing relative atomic mass is to say that it's dimensionless. It doesn't have a unit. We can say that scientists killed you and that the murder weapon was a ratio. But I've greatly exaggerated Yu's death. Scientists brought it back to life for other really important sciencey jobs, which we'll come back to later. Even so, Yu is kicked off the periodic table because it shows relative atomic masses, which are just ratios with hydrogen taken as one. Later, scientists found they could weigh a carbon atom more accurately than a hydrogen atom in the lab. So they made its mass equal to 12, and started comparing all the other masses to that instead. But it's already 12, so hydrogen stays equal to 1, to keep them in proportion. That means all the other atoms stay the same too. Comparing carbon as 12 is much the same as comparing hydrogen as 1. No change really. Giving each element its own square, the list starts to look like the periodic table. Remember, hydrogen and helium make the first row, the next eight elements make the second row, and sodium starts the third row. Let's wrap up with all 118 elements. In the next video, we'll look inside atoms to see where their mass comes from and why some atoms are heavier than others. Thank you.